Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So good for you guys to be here with us down in Baja. Uh, in today's tour, we are going to continue our Baja series. And we I've met a ton of people down here on the beaches with just such cool rigs. I'm loving it down here. And everybody's very friendly and opening. Uh, so I got to chat with a gentleman I met. His name is Randy. He's from New York. He bought a, a B-class motorhome in New York, drove it all the way down to the southern part of Baja Peninsula down in Mexico. Uh, and so today we're going to go see the inside of his rig. He's going to tell us a little bit about it, uh, but come along for the ride and check it out. All right, here we go. Uh, so Randy, what kind of vehicle is this that we're looking at? It's a, it's an old Chevy 2001 uh, trail light. And uh, yeah, I, I just found it on Facebook and it was a good deal, so I got it. Cool. How long have you been in it? November 1st, I started out of New York and then drove down through the States and uh, did uh, uh, the Keys and come through Texas and uh, across the West. And yeah, it's been great. And uh, how long is this vehicle? It's about 21 feet. 21 feet. Okay, so that's really small. You can still fit in parking lots and stuff pretty easily. Oh, yeah, it's great. I can park anywhere. All right, well, let's take a look inside. Yeah, come on in. Should I take off my shoes? No, no, no. Oh, this is super cozy in here. This is awesome. Yeah, a little kitchen. You know, I got the stove over here. This does make into a table, but I just leave it down. We'll go through the different systems. Where is your bed? This is where I sleep. I started out this trip with my son, and he was over here, and uh, but he uh, he gave up about Texas. So, so you can fit sleep too very easily. Then yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Is the, you have a TV up over there. Yeah, yeah. I can just take the straps down and. And then it, it kind of, you know, just like the ones at home, you know, you can pull it out. And oh, so it's on an arm. Yeah, face it where you need to. So then you have a bunch of storage up here. Is this uh, your clothes and yeah, so forth? Yeah, just clothes and crap, you know. And then it looks like you have some uh, jackeries or uh, power packs there. Yeah, this was uh, uh, friends of mine that are right camping right next door. This one is theirs. I was just charging it up for them because I got a little bit bigger solar array than they do. Okay. And then this one is mine and it's already charged. So yeah. Gotcha. And uh, how much solar do you have on top? Uh, the solar I have isn't on top. It's a, it's a, uh, like a, 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 just a fold out. Suitcase thing. style. Yeah. Suitcase style. What? 120 watts altogether. And has that been plenty for being down here? It has been. Yeah. Okay. For me. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you use electricity for down here? Uh, the TV, yeah. the fridge, um, you know, and I just keep my battery charged. It's not a, it's not a, a, a lithium or anything like that. It's just a deep cell, you know, like a marine battery. Oh. It's been good enough for me. Yeah. And now the refrigerator, does it also run off of propane? It does. Yeah. Okay. This is your kitchen area, your sink area right yeah. there. All right. Very good. And then how much fresh water do you have in this rig? I, I'm not positive, but okay. I think it's around 40 gallons. 40 which gallons. Is, plenty for me uh, so okay. you have black water and gray water tanks as well yeah have you had any issues finding places to dump it down here in Baja I have yeah. any recommendations for people like uh yes I overlander because Perfect. it will show right where you can dump at so yeah. yeah I've been using that app a lot down here I think it's very very helpful uh, can you show me your stove area that's, oh, it, that's interesting three burner I like that I haven't seen I've always seen it before where it's more of a triangle um, so that's kind of cool. And then this controls right here, makes it easy. Now you have this power strip. What is this hooked up to? Is that an inverter somewhere? If I have the generator going, then I can plug a microwave in. I've got a microwave back in there. Okay. So if I, if I want to use and make popcorn or whatever. <laughs> and so the only time that plug is active is uh, when the generator is on? That or I'm plugged into shore power. And since you've been down here, do you find yourself um, boondocking more or in campgrounds? Boondocking. Yeah. Oh, man, it's free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How can you beat that? Kind of a no-brainer, right? Yeah. Uh, show me your fridge real quick. So that's a that's a decent-sized fridge. It's not bad. Free, yeah, you have a freezer in top. Yeah. Um, that's bigger than mine. That's Wow, that's pretty fantastic. So yeah, then you... Yeah, needs to be defrosted, but don't, yeah. they, don't they always? So. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then you have just, wow, this place has a lot of storage. Looking at all these above cabinet storage locations and then storage down there yeah. as well. And yeah. then what is the, that a tall closet? Right there? Yeah, I probably brought more than I should have, but I've got those uh, slide out plastic uh, drawers, you know. Oh, yeah. Filled them with 
And Everything you, I could think of before I left. Yeah, and then you use these bars to keep them from sliding out. Yeah, you know, the road on the way in is kind of washboard, so it, it, it really helps. Yeah, for sure. I've always seen those in refrigerators. I've never thought about using those in uh, uh, other places, so that's really cool. Um, all right, so everybody wants to know, you know, people on the road going to the bathroom. Show us, show us your oh, bathroom. Oh, the bathroom, yeah. Well, <laughs> everybody wants to know this. I got gas cans in there right now, but yeah. All right, so... So it's, okay, so it's just a wet bath. That's perfect. Yeah. And and then do you um oh you have you have a skylight up here? Oh yeah, that's there's nice. A skylight and there, there, there's a fan up there. It's not working right now, but it you can open it so that there's ventilation in it. Are the is the gas cans are those for your generator? No, actually it's just because I, I heard down here in Baja you should carry gas, so you know that's it's actually a good point because uh there's a couple long stretches right where there's less yes, gas right oh and so this is your inverter right here yep yep that's perfect and that's just running off your house batteries that... and, and then i have the solar outside to, okay. to bring in power for the house battery and what kind of vehicle was this again this is a chevy trail light it's uh okay. it's just a you know a cutaway chevy cutaway van 3500 Okay. And it's uh and they put this trail light box on. And it's a fiberglass box, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this thing is excellent. So, um, was it expensive? Do you mind my asking? No, not at all. I got it. I found it on Facebook. I got this for thirteen thousand dollars. Nice. And it's a what year was it in? Two thousand one. Two thousand one. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. No, this is a this is a really great rig. So, um, yeah, let's go outside. I want to look at your solar panels. They just hooked into the house battery here. Oh, so it just plugs in under, underneath? Yeah, I think these are 60 each side, so I think it's 120 all together. And it folds up really nicely. Yeah, and it goes in that bag that I got on top of my spare tire right now. And so where do you uh, keep the solar panels when you're traveling? Right behind the front seat. I hadn't right. seen very many vehicles with the spare tire on the front. Well, the reason for that is, is I tried to mount it underneath where it belongs. Yeah. And it was down too low. And I know in Baja, you know, you're going to be in, in places where that could be a problem. So, yes. so I thought, well, I'll just mount it on the front. That's perfect. So you did that yourself? Yeah. Oh, nice. And did you have someone weld that on you, on for you? No, no, it's actually, a, a, I had somebody make oh. the mount for me. Okay. And then I put the mount on. Mm. And, uh, and it's just a receiver hitch down there or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And I just put that, that strap on there for a backup in case anything happened. You yeah. Know? That way I'm not going to have a tire that I'm running over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that makes sense. And that is the downside of when you have things up underneath uh, the back end. You sometimes will even lose clearance or it also gets a lot more road grime. Uh, there could be all sorts of problems. So, right. Um, no, this is... Uh, that's a cool. All right. Oh, also the uh, outdoor shower. Show me that. Oh yeah. Do you use that very often? Well, just used it today. Perfect. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice to have. Um, it wasn't on there when I bought that thing, but you can just buy it on Amazon and. Oh, you put this in yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. it, well, I'll show you how easy it is. Yeah. This, of course, is the uh, bay for the electricity. Mm -hmm. But because the shower is right here. All the plumbing is right there. So it was easy to, you know. So you could just plumb it right in. Yeah, yeah. so oh, just uh, cut perfect. a hole here, put it in. It, uh, yeah, that was a piece of cake, really. Oh, no kidding. All PEX, so yeah. PEX is easy. Yeah, it's easy to deal with. Yep. All right, that's very cool. And, uh, and of course, uh, I also like your uh, cooler idea off the back ladder. Oh, yeah. So that's... Uh, that I had not seen, but you so you just have it on a bike rack, right? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, I was originally going to bring an e-bike, but then I thought ah, it might be too much hassle, so I just put the cooler on there. That's perfect. <laughs> so now, how long are you going to be down here in Baja? Do you think? Uh, until it gets warm in the U.S. <laughs> that that's fair fair enough. So that's uh, and have you been down to Baja before? This is my first trip. And what do you think so far? I'm digging it. I, this will not be my last trip. <laughs> it kind of sucks you in, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, it's beautiful down here. And what's your uh, what's been your favorite place so far? Belandra. Oh. Belandra Beach over in uh, uh, La Paz. Oh, okay. Is, is so yeah. beautiful. So beautiful. That's but I mean, every place I go, I say it's 
Beautiful, yeah. So. <laughs> now that's the one with the hanging rock or the... Uh, yes, uh, yeah, the, the mushroom rock. Mushroom rock, there we yeah. go. I, was like, I knew it was something like that. Excellent. Hey, Randy, thank you so much for the tour today. Oh, no um, problem. I really like your, your rig. It's really cool. Uh, do you think you'll get solar panels on top at some point? At some point, probably, yes. Yeah. Uh, it would be easier than, you know, pulling them out and yeah. hooking them up. But it, this is working well for you now, right? Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Well, I'm Randy, digging it. Thank you so much for uh, taking time today. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. All right. Safe travels. All right. Thanks. Well, I just wanted to thank Randy once again for giving us a tour of his home behind me. Uh, what a cool vehicle. I really like that. I like that he's traveling down here in Baja. What did you guys think out there? Do you like the outdoor shower thing? Could you do that yourself? Let us know in the comments below. But until next time, so long and see you guys down the road.